ranked number 22 in the country, the Wolverines, are ready to take on the upset-minded Golden Gophers of Minnesota here in the Metrodome. And we welcome you to Minneapolis. Motion from Zach VV, the tight end, as Cochran rolls that direction. And incomplete for VV in the end zone, second and goal. Wideouts this time. And they run Hamner on a draw. Hamner, couple of jukes and a lean. And did he cough it up after he was down? It looked like it. And they will say he kept it at the two. And it remains Minnesota ball. Third and goal from the two. Another tackle by Hall. Coach Good Steve. offensive planning by the Minnesota staff. Two tight ends in the eye. Play fake. Caught the room. Chased and dropped at the six-yard line by Dehaney Jones, and the Wolverine defense finally comes up with the play. His feet. Now here comes Adam Bailey, kicking at the same goalpost through which he defeated Michigan State a week ago. From 23 yards out, out of the hold of Ryan Rindle. Bailey has an early 3-0 lead on the board for Glenn Mason of Minnesota. Wolverines from the 24 go play action and deep. And Brady looking for sweets. Has it inside the 20 with an angle on Fred Scruggs. And he made it to the end zone. Touchdown, 76 yards, Michigan. That is the best throw that Tom Brady has made this year that I have seen. And all the films out of Minnesota did not want to see happen. They come out here. They have the enthusiasm. Michigan is obviously flat. Here's a play action. Great fake. Great work by the men up front. Ty Streets adjusts to the throw. The throw is perfect. The route is a skinny post or just a slight post pattern, meaning he's headed toward the goal post. Craig Scruggs, who's been playing so well, Actually plays this ball pretty well. He forces a perfect throw. Had he not looked back and lost speed, he would have had a play on the ball. Very difficult to teach that to a defensive back, but Scruggs is a veteran. He, he understands now that when you look back, you lose just a shade of speed, and that's what allowed the thing to go the distance. And the 76 yards is the fourth longest completion in Michigan history. This kind of thing all year. over the middle by Marcus Knight, but not nearly enough to continue the drive and hit after a 14-yard gain by Willie Middlebrooks. Guess correctly on the second down. I like the way David Gibbs said that and come after you on third. Everson waiting for the punt by Jason Vinson. Wolfers come after him. Ball is loose near the goal line. And no signal yet at the bottom of the pile. There is a flag down. One of the Wolverines tried to kick it while it was rolling loose near the goal line. And they're still unpiling it. Touchdown, Minnesota. This is a very poor snap. This is another problem that Jansen's had all year. The ball's almost end over end. The punter still should have caught it and got it off. Hendricks is trying to kick the ball. That's illegal. That was the flag that was down. Had it not been recovered for a touchdown, he would have been flagged for the illegal kick. But when you leave it on, it's a personal foul. From his own end zone on third and 23, hit as he got it off for Streets, makes the catch at the 40. Ty Streets again on the long ball. 39 yards, they'll move it all the way to the... Second and two, Vargas gets a carry, gets a first down, and wrestled by Ben Mezra all the way to the 40. That is the Vargas from two weeks screen and goes in motion. Brady play action. Didn't fool Tyrone Carter, though. Sixth sack of the year, another category in which he leads the Minnesota D. Anthony Thomas back. Has the lone setback. Brady chased again. Thomas. With a little room up the side now. 
And they will mark him out a yard shy of the first down at the 31, driven out by Graham. Brady Shaka. Blitz. Deep ball for Streets inside the five. He's got it again. His third long catch of the first half. 22 yards this time to the four-yard line. Again, taking it off the top of the helmet of Craig Scruggs. Might be a four-point mistake as Jay Feely comes on. This will be an 18-yarder. Sharp angle. Brady the holder, and the kick is good. So they at least get three, and they tie it up at 10. The wide out. Sophomore from Fort Lauderdale brings that one in in Michigan territory. Abner on a sweep. Sword had him sniffed out for a loss back to the 49. Sam Sword, the senior from Saginaw, Michigan, who has been a great leader. Well, chased again by Williams. And dropped at midfield, driven back. He looked in Leverson's direction, and William Peterson deserves a lot of credit for his coverage all afternoon on Luke Leverson. Three and a half yard line. And then they come out with passing set on second down and 16, and Cockerham from his own end zone is sacked, and is it a safety, or did he just stretch across the goal line? Safety for Michigan. James Hall wrapping up Billy Cockerham. Michigan takes the lead. And one more time, Cockerham can't pull give up the safety. One, two, three, four. Plenty of time to unload the ball. Junior from New Orleans. Great kick by Adam Baylor. Vargas. Wrapped up by Tyrone Carter at the 39-yard line. He's picking it up again now. Brady well protected again over the middle to the 30-yard line goes Diallo Johnson on his first catch of the day. He takes it 27 yards. Second and 12 for Brady. He goes down in the arms of Ben Mizera, the blitzing linebacker for the Gophers who has done it. So here's third and 21. On the game, the 20. Brady stepping up, complete, close to the first down. That's real close, and that's another catch by Ty Streets, who is having one of the best days any Michigan wideout has ever had. That goes 19 yards. Now a 43-yarder. Feely's best, 51. Tough hash mark for right-footed kickers. Plenty of leg, though, and he drills. The 43-yarder, 15 to 10, Michigan. Minnesota has to get a touchdown with 6:36 to go. 25 second clock. Deep ball for Johnson is intercepted, and it was picked off by William Peterson, who gets his third interception of the year. Shotgun this time. Throw him deep for Henderson. Juggled and incomplete. Almost had it. Dwayne Patman was right with him. He stripped him of the ball right here. Good play. Good play by Patman, in my opinion. Deep for Henderson. Pulled down by Michigan's James Whitley. The interception at the 21-yard line, and that just about closes the deal for the Wolverines. Michigan retains the little brown jug for the 12th consecutive year. They get the win to go 6-2, and 5-0 and oh in Big Ten play, 15-10. Our final for Bill Curry, Dave Ryan, and our entire ESPN crew. Dave Barnett saying so long from Minneapolis. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Here's